Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Banished. We're using the Megamod in our town of George, and this is the co-op series between Night Ghost 49, Vapor Gaming, and myself. And as I was recording last uh, episode, or as I was editing last episode, I noticed that as I was searching for something in here that I can make with sugar, I had my mouse sitting right there while my eyes were reading down in here. <laughs> There are sugar cookies, so we're going to set him for sugar cookies. This one is hardtack, and that's because it's designed to give you more food per flour on hardtack than on bread. And we were searching for uh, sources of food at the time, so I'm going to leave that one there until uh, I see exactly what our, what our new cannery row is going to produce right in here. I see we have a foundation in, and... There goes the nomads that I that I turned down, and probably good that I did too. The game pretty much uh, crashed a desktop right at the end of the last episode, so I've got the uh, the autosave set for every 10 minutes now to help me out in case it suddenly uh, does a crash on me and I've got to try to recover something. You know, it's it's not bad when I'm 10 minutes into it, but when I'm 40 minutes into something, that that gets a little frustrating. So. Where to start today? Let's head over to the tinneries over here on this back side. Kind of clean this area up for good here. Um, dock fisheries coming in. Let's keep an eye on that so we can set it for uh, four workers. We've got four more of the water scavengers coming in so that we can supply enough oysters for this guy. So let's set him to oysters now. And let's just add there we are four more workers we're going to need them two are waiting for this guy and this guy to get finished so I don't really need to see these anymore okay Doc Fishery over there he'll be done really any moment I would imagine she is a builder yep so three more taps of her hammer and and we're up and running so I'll leave you right there we need some storage out here also, while I was editing, I noticed that I was concentrating on these houses right here. There we are. And I'm still waiting. Okay, one, two, three, four. Waiting for the two of two to go away and the builder to go symbol to leave. There it is. Now, one, two, three, four. It was it hadn't uh, refreshed yet. Okay. And I forgot that there were houses right here. So I was looking to see where all the angry red circles were, and then we had plenty of purple circles to cover them. Let me evaluate that one more time. Let's, because uh, these guys over here are hitting all these houses. So those two, yeah, two and a half, three, four, five. Yeah, there's a lot of of uh, of unhappiness that's going to form right in here. There's probably not a lot we can do about it, and we could. Oh, I guess we could drop in a, uh, where am I looking for, here, there, another well, kind of back in there, and one in there, but that's about it. What we could do, we have the water shrines over here, and I see they're full, pretty much. Let's put one more church in, something small. Something like that. So that in... Let's see here. Let's put him in over here. Let's put another cemetery in there. Just because this looks like a rather dangerous place. So we're going to go from there to there. And let's see here. F. Is there a door? moving around in there that I can't see. Let's try that again. One off of there to there and one off of there. So V, that was not it. I wanted F. Okay, try it again. There. I've got too many different games with too many different commands in my in my head. V and B are for farming simulator. Alright, F I'm not seeing the uh, the gates swinging around. 
guess it doesn't happen with his model. That's the right one. Or is it this one? Let me read that again. Fenceless. No, it was this one. Oh well. Wherever it is, it is. Okay. And I cleaned up the ground over there a little bit. It was looking more like the, uh, the old riverbed or lake bed. Okay, so church there and cemetery there. It adds more purple. A couple of, of uh, uh, wells in there. Um, we need to bring furnace fuel into this area. And the dock market is bringing a little bit, but that's it. So furnace fuel into here. And over in the city, the general store worked really well. Let's see here, there, here. Yeah, general store and the hardware store seem to work really well. So if we were to... Pretty limited where I can place them. Seems like you'd want it closer to the housing. And then this is tough. Well, I guess we're going to be stuck with something like that. Okay, we need to employ that. So, all right, storage. Need to store the fish the oysters, and all the pearls. I wonder if pearls are like a dry good. I would imagine if I just put a generic storage in here, it would be it would be fine. Where to? Got this area and this area. Let's... Let's see here. Let's go there, there. We'll go to the dock storage, the large one. And I want to face it out so that I can see what's going on. So let's head out to... Although that hides the scavengers, doesn't it? Hmm. I mean, it'd be easiest just to... Just to plop it right there. You know, I might just do that. I think so. It's going to be in the, uh, the circle a little bit, but... Uh, not that much, and it's so much easier. The doors were on the correct side, right up against the dock. All right, so that is house or employees for all of that for this storage, church, cemetery, bringing in furnace fuel, and a couple of wells. I think we're done over here, with one exception. Just to make this look better, I'm going to go ahead and complete this and bring this out to here and to here. And let's see, I'm just noticing. I always thought the water was pretty stagnant on the lakes, but you can see a little bit of rippling in motion. It does look like the water is slowly moving through this opening right here, doesn't it? Interesting. Um, there was an auto save. All right, so we've run to there. I want to come off of it at the end. Is that water there? That's water right there. Yeah. So I'm going to have to get all the way to the grass over here. Okay. So three off of here brings us to grass. So we'll do that. Stare down. And then we're going to have to hit something like this. Looks like a two. Right there. I can hear that train coming back. Out there in the uh, uh, in the field behind my building. So you hear rumbling here before long. I'm used to recording in the evening and there are no trains, but the last couple of times I've been recording during the day. And uh, a lot of train activity out there. So you can start hearing the engine get closer and closer to my building. So let's come back and see how this builds. I'll do that as a reminder. All right, over here, forge. That's this area starting to happen. And you work in <laughs> both of the, the folks that are going to be working in the uh, 
uh, what is that? The Dock Scavenger? What, the Oysters. Oyster Finders are out here right now. Complete other opposite side of the map. Okay, you are going to be making tin. And we're going to employ you with two for now. Actually, we'll just leave you at one just to uh, get somebody in there. But uh, there's no tin yet. Tin ore. So we're going to be grabbing tin ore from the other side of the map. So we'll just do one at the moment. Nothing else here to set. So that guy is good. We'll come back and reset all these in a while. Um, are you in? You're not in. Okay. A little by little. Now again, I'm running on speed one. Can I get speed two going? It's a little jumpy, but I'll give it a try for a while, just to get some distance. But I got to be careful not to be scrolling fast through the map when everything's lagging. That that's uh, that's going to induce uh, game crashes. So be careful about that. Let's take care of this guy. All right, you are going to make what we're going to make here. Out of what I mean out of reeds. We're capable of running reeds out of here. And we've got reeds in this area, don't we? I think about that. We have rice in this area. We don't have reeds in this area. Don't have we have logs in this area, that's what it was. He was gonna do firewood from the logs that are coming in from the trading which I've shut down. So let's turn that back on to like a two hundred count. Uh alright we'll do a five hundred count. Keep uh, back up one. Keep him busy, and we'll just keep that topping off our reserves there. Okay. So trade. What have we got here that we actually need? And I doubt there's much that we need, except maybe fire bundles. If we come across those, I should probably grab some. Tools are fine. Clothes are fine, though they are quite low. And I think that why do we have a starver? <sighs> okay, we'll check that out. Um. What was I saying? Clothes are quite low because of the auto food buying. So it just keeps emptying it out as fast as it puts it in. Probably faster than our, our uh, clothiers can keep up. Um, we have firewood 500. Let's go that route there. We'll get those bought. 2,000. And that is it. Yeah. 2,000. There's our pea coats. We'll do 100 of these. And we're going to go check out the uh, clothing industry in a minute to see what we're actually up against. This guy gave up and left. I'm seeing one over here. You have got bakery supplies. Sugar cookies. Which we have bought. Well, at least they're ones. Okay. And we're buying donuts for two. Yeah, if you have the time, it's much better to buy it yourself. You can buy all the ones and get so much more food for the same money. But uh, 77,000, we are losing food here. Okay, we need to get the, uh, the, the tinning industry up and going for certain. Anyway, you're done. Who is starving and why? You, dock worker, are on your way probably to storage over... Oh, this is still turned around. After all of those episodes... Yeah. Interesting how it, it only has a problem sometimes. All last episode, I don't remember seeing starving or starvation. So, let's get this one fixed for good. I was going to flip it around, but I'll tell you what. Let's just add some docks. Call that good. You're going there. And we'll put a single in there. You're going there. Okay. We'll see if Vapa, when he uh, comes in, gets the time to put all the dock fences up. Like, you know, all the safety rails that that, uh, that these guys have been missing. So let's prioritize this one if it will let us. I'm pretty sure I can on these. Okay, so these guys are right here. Alright. And they are able to sneak out occasionally. Would you look at that? Interesting. It's using this as an entry port. Okay. Then why are you starving? Now tell me you're going to get food. Please get food. Thank you. Alright. Two without houses. Student. 
and child. We did not accept the nomads. That may yet have to do something have something to do with this. You know, with once in a while when they just get stuck right there. You are a vendor. Um you are working. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully that gets repaired. So that's done. What else is happening? Bundling shed to firewood is done. Sugar house. Let's get over here. So the idea is that maple sap, which we have 16,000 of, is going to get turned into maple syrup here. There and there. Two and two. And then the maple syrup is going to get further refined into maple into sugar here. Like that. Maple sugar for maple syrup. Okay. And there, I went and looked in the... Uh, the inventory for the town and they are eating the maple syrup so there isn't a large quantity of it sitting around that I feel like I can run two of these guys off of two of these guys so we're either going to add one more maple in order to add one more sugar or we're gonna leave it alone got all this room right here we got storage right there I'm tempted pasture with an infestation er uh, pasture. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Because last time I did that, I lost all my chickens. Um, so anyway, I'm thinking we're going to just add two more sugar to this. One maple, one sugar. And that should be an efficient little system. And it'll last as long as we're going to be continuing the episodes here. So one there, one there. So, one of these be sugar, one of these be maple syrup. Okay, so let's see when those go in. And I lost my marker. Can I get it here? I can. So you are down. And that's just not something I really want to deal with right now. So I think I'm going to go this route and delete him. That should eliminate the pestilence soon, or infestation. Though, at speed 2, it's going to be a little while. I'll hang here till it does. You can take a look at all the rest of the, uh, the fields here. There we go. So you reclaim. And do I need to choose anything? Work. And that guy should come back to work here soon. Come back! Or we can just do that and that. Okay. Taking care of that. Don't need to do any other options here. And you're good. Okay. So, what next? We want to get into this area. Let me glance over at my list here. Houses over, red ketchups markets. We could do that one real quick too. We do need more housing in this area. Put the soup kitchen in. So, oh, you're up and running. Okay, and you probably are too. Yeah, you're being built. Let's do this first. More housing in this area. One way we could do it is to add the second level to these guys. That is where? Housing. Uh, not you. Not you. This one? Yeah, that's it right there. Okay. Doesn't look too good, I don't think, with the gabled. That works. Am I back too far? I'm back too far. I gotta be out here. Okay. Wrong button. Try that one. Okay, that's different from what we see in the other ones do that. Now, there's no difference in colors. The first floor is going to be the same. Okay. So over here, that one is not going to fit. Why is that? Oh, grass squares down there. Okay. Yeah, those grass squares, I tell you. They come back and bite you. You are going to be there. So one space in. 
and that model doesn't look like it's been used either. We'll put that one in there. Um, we'll do just the two for now. Leave a little bit of randomness in there. All right, so what's next? Tenneries. Do I want to deal with them now or do I wait till they're all done? We probably should deal with them as they come just because we uh, need the food. We're down to, well, we're still holding in that upper 70s. We were in the 90s last time. All right, so vegetables. Well, fruit's going to be much easier. But you are meat. All right, I guess no matter what I do, I'm going to have to go over here and, and see what's, uh, what's available. Actually, we are in the city over here. Let's do that with, wow, I'm really seeing the lag now. Let's turn you down with uh, the colonial uh, hall over here. All right, by quantity, first vegetable is tomatoes, right? There's lots of sugar cane, and I don't know where that's coming from. I can't find it on the map, so it must have, uh, must have been bought. Oh, let's see. I am not seeing any other vegetables. That is it. Tomatoes. I was going to use that for soup over here. Okay, well. You're a vegetable. You're a vegetable. Let's set you to tomato. Okay. That's not an option, is it? I'm not seeing it. Uh, let's turn you off for now, but no, there are no tomatoes here. That's only going to work for soup. All right, so it looks like we need to get some farm fields in to make this industry work. Um, how are we doing on... I have kind of messed up everything here. Meat, you're paused. And let's check out fish. Thirteen hundred, not much. Okay, so you are going to go to fish, and let's put in. We'll put in two for now. There should be interesting. There's a fruit tinnery. Still showing these supplies. That's interesting. Um, are there only one? Is there only one worker in each of these? Ah, okay. Let's turn you up, and let's turn you up. That was kind of strange. Oh, I hit the worker. Okay, merchant and trading post, and all the workers are over here. <laughs> Okay, so this guy just came in. No, this guy. Right there. And we had a whole variety. I know there were plenty of apples, so let's just start with apples. Well, am I remembering that correctly? It was, yeah, apples 6,500. Okay, plenty of apples. Turn you to two workers. Okay, so 13 laborers, 40 builders. And what is the large quantity here for? I think about that. What did I do last time? Not a lot of train tracks out there. The tinneries, there's nine more, and each of those require four builders. Yeah, so there's 36 right there. Just wondering how quickly we're going to plow through these 120 jobs at one and two speed. Probably not very quickly, huh? I do need more people. I do need more laborers. I don't know if the map can take any more. So that is something to think about. So tell you what, we could do what I have done in the past. The last time I thought about it, I did it too late. I could have done it right from the very beginning and had such a huge advantage on getting the uh, everything built. We could take the gold mines down while Martha is, is, is traveling abroad right now and get some uh, artificial labor out of this. 
that can be shifted back into the mines. We still get the gold produced. And I'm sure I'm going to miss a few of them here. So let's do something like that. I don't dare touch the coal and iron. We've got a few more hiding around this guy. Let's see, that's two, that's five. It's also going to relieve housing out here so everything else will run more efficiently. Because the laborers will live anywhere there's an opening. They don't have to try to get close to work. Okay, so with that, miners, let's take you down to 109. There we go, and that's almost like getting a bunch of nomads in. Take you back to 40 without taxing the system further. Okay, and still two, four people without work. Who are you? Herdsman. Why? Are we, we're running two people per farm, aren't we? I think that's what we're doing. Two. This one had the problem, so let's take you back to one. Oh, back to two. No, and, but not add another worker. Okay. Wrong button again. Gotcha. <laughs> so you are a tinnery worker. One, two, three, four. Going. That means eight. And there are ten. Okay. Takes, takes care of that. You are a dredger and a herdsman. Yet another herdsman? Okay, we're going to go this route then. Herdsman! 23 of 23. You just haven't found your job yet. Okay. The rest is the dredger who is still waiting for that one to build. Alright, we're good. Alright, back to the list. In Vapors Street. Let's go take care of that one right now. That's been kind of bugging me for episodes. This one ends one space off. I'm going to end this one one space over and then run a sidewalk up here out of this material. Let's see how that works. I wish we could curve this and make a cul-de-sac or a court at the end. But there's nothing... I don't think there was anything available. Uh, roads... Something like city, city roads. So is that texture one or texture two? It's texture one. Texture two, I think, is the opposite color. Dark sidewalks and light streets. Kind of like that too. So back texture one right there, and there is nothing that acts as an end, is there? Unless we did something like that. Hmm. Just wonder if I can plug sidewalk on the end of a T on the two ends. Well, I guess if in the end I'm going to end up with the same effect that I'm doing right now. Okay, so you're just going to go there. And then these guys, you are road, you are sidewalk. And you're a ghost sidewalk. Okay. Does it matter? I'll try this. put ghost sidewalk over the top. Uh, okay, it works like that. Now, question is, do we want the road to continue to that point to match the other? Let's let this build and see what it looks like. I think that is a way of ending this. I don't see the point of bringing the road around and driving up on the uh, on the pier here. I don't think that's going to look right. 
But that'll kind of give us a conclusion out here. Though it would have been nice to have left some grass right there, huh? Actually, it would have. Are these deletable? Or are they not? They're not. Gotta let them build and then delete them. We'll leave that for now. And we'll make that decision later. These two have been dealt with. That one, and that's all that is built here. And I am back on one. So let's get that going there. I wanted to see this go in. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Is there something here? There is not. Okay, so that is done right there. Let's turn you off. Put in the... Let's see, themes, docks, stairs over here. And a single going, yeah, that direction right there. That finishes that. This is happening. Nothing else here needs to be employed, right? We've got this sitting there. The church needs to be employed. Put that one there. Got another forge over here. Wish I could get some of the uh, mines in. Well, there may be some mines in right now. Let's go take a look. No, they're not, but they're getting there. Are we short of any materials? Lumber. Let's come back to the forge and just verify that I'm assuming we got plenty of lumber in stock. There's been at least one person making lumber forever. Lumber, 4,000. I think we have too much lumber being made. Um, people are cold, but they're finding uh, sources of warm. Lumber. Let's go over to our woodworking industry area, which is here. You're making lumber. One worker only. And that is the only lumber on the map, isn't it? Now, where are we? Was there one of these to make firewood? There was not. I just used two of these and a couple of little choppers. Okay. And we've got charcoal being made there. Seems like there were two of them, right? Two of two of three. Must be a little stacks burner somewhere else. Where would the three be? So let's see if we can find that. You are, well, you're that symbol. Stacks burner. I don't know that I'm going to find that in stacks. Dax. We'll go down to S, but I, I doubt it. No. Alright, where's that symbol? Uh, trading post. Are you a burner? You are a kilman. Okay, where's the other kiln? Over here. So, brickworks over here. And... Turn you off right here. Come on. <laughs> you are making bricks. Okay. So in that case, let's put in another stacks burner. And just kind of supplement our home fuel economy. How and where? Diagonal road there. I thought I had meant to put in two. It seems like something I would have done. You are wood storage. So let's uh, stacks burner. You are there, right? Yeah. You can also use the brickworks to make uh, charcoal. What was that one? A child froze to death. Darn. Where do we get this guy to fit? That looks right. I'm kind of cramped in here. Be nice to get this angry red circle kind of away from housing. So it needs to be over in here. But that's our dense forester. That's a road. We could do something like that. Yeah, we'll do that. We need to employ him. Let me think about that. I'm guessing it's going to default at charcoal out of logs, which is what we want. So let's just boost. Well, I'm going to have to choose how many jobs, though. Alright, I am going to have to see this. Alright, you go there. Forge, let's go back to that. There's not much I can do with it yet till we get some 
10 Orion, but that's happening. Okay. So for now, one person. And making 10. Right there. Turn you off. We'll upgrade both of them or update. Get more people working in them as soon as these guys are done. Which I do want to see one of them go in. We got to think about storage now. We got to think about roads. So let's put in a. This is probably going to be forested. So put in a moss road. What's it look like to be right up against it? Doesn't look very good. So we're going to stay out here. And out. That looks right. There. And from here, let's kind of naturally diagonal over a little bit. Okay. More merchants out there. Food is at 100,000. Wow. All right. So buying automatically at 2,000 each is still excessive, I think. Where am I at? <laughs> there I am. So you probably just left here. I'm going to take purchases off. I need to... I think it's time to uh, get real here. See what we're actually doing versus what I'm only going to be able to guess that we're doing. Okay, no more purchasing. Let's see how this goes. 100,000 food. Wow. Didn't even try. Okay. You brought us logs. We're still at 44. Let's put 500 more into this area. And coats, we never did look at the clothiers, but we are so low on clothes, which is probably because we just bought all that food with clothes. So seedlings, what am I looking for? 1,000. So how do I get seedlings to do 1,000? I bought all of those, it would be 4,000. So one fourth of those is 125, right? Yes. Trade and dismiss. You I've got seeds. I wish I knew if I needed seeds. I don't think I do. Let's say no for now. We're going to be planting a bunch of fields, but it's very likely we're going to be specializing three or four fields for each kind just to keep those uh, soup and vegetable and, and uh, fruit tinneries up and going. So, not going to continue the variety. My, uh, tin mine shaft is in. So this is where we're going to need lots and lots of miners. And we're going to need lots and lots of buildings to house the miners. How are we going to pull that off? I think it's this area right here. And what's it going to be? Is it going to be a Motel 6? It may have to be. Huh. Well, let's get these guys set for three for now. And ten. That's correct. So three and three. Let's put in... Oh, twelve at the moment. And they will just go straight to work afterward. I'll have to manually set the other ones to three, though, when they happen. So we'll keep one more up in here. You're done. No, you're one that isn't done yet. Okay. Stacks burner, sugar house, hardware store, parish house, and keyside houses. Let's see how these guys are doing. <clears throat> Not yet. Okay. We are at two. Oh, we could try to run it at five while planning out the fields. So what do we want to do here, and what is the goal for this island? It's going to be awkward to get a square or a rectangle in here. So it's not that like farming is going to do any good there. Hmm. You know, before I did that, I just realized I was talking about storage over here. And then I got distracted by the roads. So let's get back to that real quick. More roads. Got to get distracted again. We need to get up to here. That's there. We need to get out into here. Um, do you happen to line up perfectly? That's right, I did that on purpose. I ran out to there and put the bridge in. 
Okay, good. And you are pedestrian, so it makes sense that you connect to this too. Something like that. So we need a neighborhood in here. And we need storage out here. We need warehouses. Material ones. Yep, I think so. There, and even one over here. Okay. Forge is here. Need a pathway down to the forge. And now the forge is in, we need to build that second forge. And you are there. Now that we can see the model, how would these best interact with each other and look like they're all part of the same thing? And that looks pretty good right there. We're, we're tucking in deep into that. I'm going to do that. So you're going to go there. We'll deal with roads here after that builds and see how we want to work that into here. Um, just for the sake of speed, we could put in a stone road from there to there. You won't be able to see it. It'll help them move through these buildings. I can go all the way because those doors are not open on the end. Only the fronts are. Okay, and over here, same concept. Run you through to there. Okay. Although that one will be seen, but yeah, we'll call that fine. Because we're going to come out this end here. Ah! Someone removed a road over here, didn't he? <laughs> okay. You. Are you actually road? You're not road. Are you removable? You're not removable. Okay. What am I missing here? Can I raise this road? I cannot. Let's raise from here to here. Okay. Delete you. Oh, that forced it up. Okay, we've got that taken care of. And this goes back uphill to match that now. That's interesting. I'm sure it's by accident. But it looks like the road ends into this somehow. Sure. Okay. We'll go with that. And I don't have a triangle, do I? Look at the change in the ground here. Is that a change in lighting? Because we are... I don't know, that's awfully odd. Huh. Just the way the texture is moving around. So I'm not real sure what to do about this. I'll leave that for Vapor to scratch his head out. What is new here, though? Alright. Apple... You're going to be... what? I know quinces were up high. Quantity, quinces, red mulberry. So red mulberry and quinces. And what can we do with the flax? So you are going to be red mulberry. If that is an option. Yes, you are. And two people working you. You are done. Your fish. We need to get more fish in. Where can we fish? We're fishing here and here. So I can't get another one in there. And I can't get another one in here. I can get one right there. Do we have access to this island? Not really. Yes, we do. We can do that. And this jogs over, so I can't tear this out and put in a bridge. Unfortunately. Alright, let's just build a pathway out there. So I guess I need you guys back. You and you. So we're heading for where?
I think I'd rather have one completely compromised than pull this down into here and compromise all three. So I'm going to do something like that. I'll turn you this way. We'll tuck you in just a touch right there. All right, so you are there, which means we need to dock over to you. Where are you at? Right there. So that should... should be it right there. So that doesn't quite work. I need two spaces in between. So you there. Now I'm lost. Okay, let's let that build. We'll come back to it. All right, you are back over here. So set you for three. Set you for three. We'll add six more. And set you for three. And add three more. All right, 10 is happening. We still don't have any housing for them. Don't have any storage for them. So none of this is gonna be efficient for a while. There's another game save. So we're at 45-ish minutes right now and we haven't crashed. I'm thinking this would be a safe place to call it done this time. And uh, just before suddenly everything turns white and I start pulling my hair out. So yeah, let's call that done. I'm going to pause this guy. There's still lots to do and the game is, is behaving itself. So it looks like I'm going to be able to pack in a few episodes before, it, uh, before I have problems. So we'll get lots done. So this has been Noble Rambler. I'm going to call this one finished. Do check out the other guy's channel, Nikos49 and Vapa Gaming. And I will catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.